Hi everyone! Kamusta kayo? My name is John Angelo. Welcome to my channel and mag-uusap na naman tayo about skincare, skincare, and skincare. So, make sure to keep watching. So, ang pag-uusapan natin for this video is all about the common problems na na-encounter natin kapag naglalagay tayo at gumagamit ng mga sunscreens. No, alam natin lahat guys na ang pinaka-importanting step sa isang skincare routine is sunscreen. It helps us prevent and fade dark spots and red marks sa skin natin. And it also helps us prevent the signs of aging like fine lines and wrinkles. And of course, the biggest benefit, bababa yung chances na magka-skin cancer tayo. However guys, marami sa inyo ang nahihirapan sa pag-incorporate ng sunscreen sa routine ninyo because of either your lifestyle, gaya ng parang nature ng trabaho, ninyo, or kunyari, night shift kayo, or yung job ninyo involves na parang lagi kayong nasa labas at pinapawisan, or even na kailangan yung magsuot ng makeup buong araw. As in, ang daming iba't ibang mga factors that make it hard for us to apply and reapply sunscreen. So for this video guys, kinumpile ko yung mga pinaka-common na concerns ninyo, and we will do our best na i-resolve sila one by one para maayos natin ang sun protection natin araw-araw. And with that being said, let us begin. So ang format na gagawin natin for this guys is parang Q&A format kasi meron tayong iba't ibang mga questions and concerns. Starting with question number one. Kung nasa bahay lang naman ako buong araw, kailangan ko bang maglagay ng sunscreen? Nako, if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you probably already know the answer to this. As long as merong sunlight na pumapasok sa bintana ng bahay ninyo or kung nasan man kayo at naiilawan ng sunlight na to yung lugar kung nasan kayo, then yes, it is ideal to put on sunscreen. Again guys, yung UVA rays, particularly yung UV rays ng araw that cause aging and dark spots sa skin natin, tumatagos yan hindi lang sa mga clouds pero pati sa mga glass windows. So given that information guys, putting on sunscreen even indoors will give you the most benefit para ma-prevent at ma-fade ang mga dark spots and red marks ninyo. At syempre, para din ma-minimize yung signs ng aging sa skin natin. Now, for the more complicated version of this answer, yes. Actually, depende yung paglagay ng sunscreen sa kung anong situation sa bahay mo. So kung sa bahay mo, naka-blackout curtains ka, or madilim naman yung room mo, as in kweba levels ng dilim, or kunyari nakasara lang yung blinds mo buong araw, or if malayo ka naman sa bintana ng bahay ninyo to begin with, then okay, you might, remember, you might be able to get away with not using sunscreen. Pero guys, ako kasi parang personally, ang daming factors na kailangan mong i-consider para hindi magsuot ng sunscreen. And if inisip mo sila lahat, parang masastress ka lang lalo. Which leads me to the skincare advice that I always say, when in doubt, just wear it. Better safe than sorry. Lalo na guys na ang dami sa ating mahilig mag-exfoliate ng skin, gumamit ng kung ano-anong mga actives like retinol, AHA, BHAs, na mas nakaka-sensitive sa sun. So, lalo na kung gumagamit kayo ng ganung mga products, dapat sigurista kayo sa sun protection. Ako kasi talaga parang habit na siya na parang naka-ingrain. Wah, <laughs> ingrain? So, ako talaga guys, to start my day, sunscreen na agad para kung matapat man ako sa araw or hindi that day, wala na akong kailangan masyadong isipin. And kunyari, kung kailangan ko palang biglang umalis ng bahay due to an emergency or whatever, eh di pa, naka-sunscreen na ako. Alright, so for the next question, we have two very similar concerns. So, i-combine ko na siya in one answer. So, question number two is, kung night shift ako, kailangan ko bang mag-sunscreen habang natutulog? And question number three is, if tanghali na ako nagigising na nakatapat sa bintana, dapat ba mag-sunscreen ako the night before? Well guys, yung sagot sa tanong na yun is, depende talaga sa setup ng bahay ninyo. Kunyari, nakasarado naman yung blinds ng bintana ninyo, or madilim naman, then you probably might not need to sleep with sunscreen on. However, kung nakatapat ka talaga sa bintana and ilang hours nakabilad sa araw, lalong-lalo na kung tirik yung araw, tapos nakatapat talaga siya sa face mo. Let's not forget guys na hindi lang naman ang sunscreen ang nagpo-protect sa skin natin from the UV rays of the sun. Pwede rin tayong gumamit ng blinds or kurtina para i-cover yung sunlight na pumapasok sa kwarto natin. Kung nakatapat kayo sa bintana matulog, pwede kayong bumili ng parang blackout curtains which block out a lot of the sunlight coming from the sun. Or kung possible siya sa inyo, pwede nyo ring iusog yung kama palayo sa bintana. Discarte lang talaga yan guys. And para rin hindi masayang yung paggamit natin ng sunscreen, 
Dahil nga naman, not all of us can afford a large amount of sunscreen. And speaking of afford, we are moving on to question number four. What are more budget-friendly ways to protect myself from the sun, especially kung pawisin at mabilis maubos ang sunscreen ko? No, gaya nga nang sabi ko kanina guys, hindi lang sunscreen ang nakakapag-protect sa skin natin from the sun's UV rays. Meron din tayong tinatawag na UPF clothing, UPF meaning UV protective factor. So for those na outdoor ang mga trabaho, na tapat na tapat talaga sa araw and wala kayong masyadong time to reapply, you can invest on these UPF clothing. So examples of UPF clothing are meron yung mga hat na nakakover na yung ulo mo at yung mukha mo. Meron din yan guys yung mga sleeves, yung mga gloves, pati yung mga visors. And ang maganda rito guys, sobrang dali nga lang talaga sila hanapin online. As in, search mo lang sa Shopee, UPF clothing and makakakita ka ng mga pieces from around 100 plus to 200 plus pesos. As in, napakamura niya guys and you'll be able to use this technically for years as long as hindi siya masira. So I will be putting some examples of UPF clothing in the the description box below. You can check if you want to see them. Now, next up, we have question number five. Bakit po parang nag-breakout ako sa sunscreen? Another very common question I get from you guys and ang pinaka-probable na nangyayari is hindi mo pa nahanap ang sunscreen na best suited for your skin. Na actually, ako rin guys, meron akong mga sunscreens na feeling ko masyado silang thick sa skin ko and I feel like dahil oily yung skin ko, parang baka mag-breakout yung skin ko dahil sa thick sunscreens na yun. So I actually choose more lightweight na gel type or watery sunscreens and hindi ako nagbabreakout doon. Now if you need some sunscreen recommendations, you can check out my latest video on sunscreens under 500 pesos sila lahat. Meron akong mga options doon na very light lang sa skin, won't clog the pores, and are amazing to protect your skin from the harmful UV rays of the sun. Next up, we have question number 6. Bakit masakit yung sunscreen sa mata? Meron bang mga sunscreens na hindi masakit sa mata? Okay, actually, another really good question, guys. Kasi meron talagang mga sunscreens na sobrang stinging kapag nadaan siya sa mata natin. Most of the time, guys, nangyayari to with chemical-type sunscreens. If ayaw nyo yung sting sa mata, do look for sunscreens that are mineral sunscreens or physical sunscreens. Na yung mga yon, they won't sting your eyes at all, pero ang downside nito is yung ibang mga physical or mineral sunscreens meron silang white cast sa mukha. Na kung naghahanap kayo ng mineral sunscreen na walang white cast, my top recommendation still stands. The Can Make Sunscreen, ito guys, actually mixed ito. So meron tong mga physical and chemical sunscreen ingredients. Pero kahit na mixed siya guys, nung nadaan to sa mata ko, hindi siya stinging at all. So you might want to check this out. Next up, we have question number seven. Do you still need to wash your face kapag mag -re apply ng sunscreen? Okay, so simple answer is no, you don't. Pwedeng rekta na agad sa mukha as long as you reapply it with clean hands. However, meron kasing mga tao na parang as the day goes by, parang feeling nila greasy na yung skin nila, parang medyo haggard-haggard na sila. Especially those na gumagamit ng mga sunscreens na parang nagiging greasy siya as the day goes by. Na in that case, pwede mo namang banlawin yung mukha mo para mawala yung parang greasiness ng skin. Pero guys, to avoid over-cleansing or stripping your skin of its natural oils, wag na kayong mag-face wash or mag-cleanser. Save nyo lang yun guys for the start of your day and the end of your day. And speaking of the word greasy, we move on to question number 8. Any tips on how to make sunscreen less greasy or shiny on the skin? Simple lang ang sagot ko dyan. You can either apply a translucent powder or a loose powder or even better, a sunscreen powder on your face to keep the skin matte and may additional benefit ka pa of adding more sun protection. Pero guys, yung sunscreen powder, it should not be a replacement sa actual na paglagay or pag reapply nung liquid na sunscreen. Na yung mga sunscreen powders kasi guys, kahit feeling nyo, even na yung paglagay niyan, powders tend to be uneven in application and kapag naglagay kayo ng powder at powder lang, merong mga spots yan na hindi even yung sun protection. So still use yung mga liquid sunscreens when you're going to apply or reapply sunscreen. Only use sunscreen powders pag gusto nyong i-mattify yung face. Now, two of my recommendations would be number one, itong weightless loose powder from Issy Co. If I'm not mistaken, this is translucent as well. And for sunscreen powders naman, actually meron akong nahan 
lineup na bagong product pa lang siya. It's also a local product. So this is actually from YouTube's very own Anakai. And ito yung all-covered powder sunscreen. So yun, I love it. Let's go Philippine skincare, support your own. And dahil medyo papunta na tayo sa tinted sunscreens and sa makeup, we have the last question, question number 9. Paano mag apply ng sunscreen kapag meron kang makeup? Alright, so ang dami sa inyo ang nagtanong ng question na to. And for a while, napaisip din ako. Parang, paano nga ba? Kasi ako guys, personal experience ko, since minsan lang naman ako nag-makeup, hindi ko siya super iniisip palagi. Kapag nag-makeup ako, usually may SPF na ako under like tinted sunscreen or BB cream. So ako guys, pag mag -re apply ako, literally, maglalagay lang ulit ako ng isa pang layer ng tinted sunscreen or ng BB cream na yon sa ibabaw ng skin ko. However, meron ako nahanap na content sa YouTube that might be helpful for you. This is from Lab Muffin Beauty Science. I know a lot of you guys know her. So basically, ang ginagawa daw niya is naglalagay siya ng sunscreen or tinted sunscreen sa isang empty na compact. So Gamitin natin ito as an example. Tapos, kapag magta-touch up na siya, dun siya mag -re apply ng ganyan. Sobrang gently lang daw para hindi raw mahulas yung makeup. So, if you want more information or you want to see kung paano siya specifically ginagawa ni Dr. Michelle Wong or ni Lab Muffin Beauty Science, I will link the video sa i button and also sa description. So, I hope naging helpful to sa inyo guys. If you have any more questions, comment lang kayo sa baba and let us all try to help each other with our own sunscreen tips, tricks, and hacks. Also, if you found this video informative, please do leave me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. And as always guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye!